wrestling fans, thanks for clicking on the Doretta D. Rose report. Just wanted to see if I had anything dandruff or anything. With the uh, consistently uh, weak ratings performance has uh, proven that WWE NXT is not getting over as uh, any entertainment weekly event. Uh, for many WWE fans, the supporters of the show, though, have nonetheless been holding out on hopes that actual elimination element of the show might still drum up some interest. Put the old primetime wrestling on there. Put the WCW on there. We'll watch it. And it'll be probably, I'm sure, better ratings than what you're getting. Stop messing around and listen to people. Put it on my Twitter account if I had one. Anyway, it didn't work. The, the uh, extra interest. Anyway, according to uh, PWTorch.com, today's show, uh, well, yesterday's show now drew a 0 0.8, which uh, essentially is in line with the, you know last week's disappointing numbers, so it's just been disappointing, disappointing. Media Week uh, adds that the show did a uh, 1.079 million viewers uh, with the adult uh, range and age of uh, 17 to 49. But uh, anyway, be done with it. Go on. All right, this week's show uh, featured elimination of uh, Michael Tarver, uh, Daniel Bryan, and Skip Sheffield. Hall of Famer Jim Ross has updated his blog at uh, barbecue. Uh, well, jrsbarbecue.com, uh, with his thoughts about the following, in case you give a crap. Tuesday's NXT broadcast, he says, NXT uh, is a surprising show Tuesday night. I am uh, a reality fan and large, uh, and have always thought that NXT would be more effective uh, as the fans seen it, but uh, he's just, he's probably still getting a paycheck from WWE, so he's not going to put it down. Brian Danielson's uh, future, and he also said Brian Danielson. Anyway, Daniel Bryan uh, is far uh, the best uh, pure wrestler at NXT, eliminated or not. No matter what his name may or may not be today, he's still good. Comparing Randy Orton to uh, Steve Austin, he says Randy is merely being his TV persona, but it does have some uh, Austin uh, you know, qualities to it. Randy is... Um, has continued to be uh, put on his own, individual touches uh, on his fan favorite persona, of uh, which I have very high hopes for at this time and, uh, you know, as far as it goes. But uh, he's saying that w uh, Austin is is more, that's Austin that you see on, on the uh, show. And Randy's not, it's really not that way. Anyway, about Lesnar versus uh, Shane Carlin. Uh, he just says, uh, Carbon won't go five rounds on July 3rd in Vegas. <laughs> that was bad. Wrestling Observer Newsletter. Uh, WWE is looking to uh, turn either uh, MVP or Kofi Kingston heel on the SmackDown brand uh, with the idea that one uh, who turns heel gets the bigger push and goes over even bigger, which is normally true. As noted before, Brett DiBiase underwent, uh, underwent knee surgery uh, last week and will be missing several months of action. This uh, pretty much screws up the plans about the stable on Raw with Brett and his brother uh, Joe and Ted. But there's talk of putting uh, Carlito and Primo in, a, in the stable, but uh, that hadn't been officially decided on yet. So the word uh, is the Colognes will be affiliated with DiBiase, but uh, don't actually, they're not really in the group. Anyway, WWE still wants to bring in Joe Henning to the main roster, and uh, there was talk of doing uh, Ted and Joe Henning versus R-Truth and John Morrison feud. Uh, Henning originally was scheduled to be uh, on the next season of NXT until officials decided not to have the second generation star on this season. Uh, I think those would be pretty good matches, actually, Carlito and... Uh, or rather, R-Truth and uh, Morrison taking on uh, DiBiase and Henning. Be a good show. Uh, Sheldon Benjamin will be getting his degree at the end of the semester of the University of Minnesota. He's gone back to college. Uh, in fact, he went back to college before he was released from WWE. Sheldon attended school before even being signed at WWE uh, in uh, 2000. Having held the WWE title for over a thousand days, and I can just about count every one of them uh, what he did on that day, and that was talk. 
John Cena held the uh, belt for the fifth longest in the career of anyone in history. The top four on the list is Bruno San Martino, over 4,000 days. Hulk Hogan did a 2,100. Uh, Bob Backlund, he did 2,138 days. Pedro Morales did a uh, little over 1,000 days. Cena is going to be passing Morales soon, and I don't really see him losing it. One of the reasons Rey Mysterio is upset with WWE is that the AAA promotion in Mexico wanted to hold a Rey Mysterio Cup this year and uh, have Rey you know, present the winner with the cup. I wouldn't want his cup. That's nasty. Anyway, Rey asked uh, WWE for uh, permission, and they said no because they don't want him to appear on the AAA show, even if it was just to present a trophy. Uh, Christopher Daniels hasn't committed to uh, Ring of Honor dates after July and is feeling that he's going to uh, at least uh, in serious talks with TNA about returning. Uh, TNA morale was down after the announcement of Impact moving back to Thursdays. I don't know if that affects anybody's pay or not. Should Hogan's. Bischoff. Uh, Shannon Moore, one of uh, his earrings was ripped out last week at the TNA Impact uh, taping and was bleeding badly, which, you ever see that little uh, symbol that uh, Jeff Hardy wears? I don't know. It's real close. I don't know how that don't end up stabbing him sometimes with some of the stuff he does, or just being kicked. Word going around is that Sean Waltman's angle where he uh, was laid out on impact was his exit from the company. As seen, Eric Young became the newest member of the band. Believe it or not, Samoa Joe was also being considered for the role before they decided uh, on Young. And if they decide on Samoa Joe, I wonder what he's done wrong to deserve that spot with the band. Poor Joe. Word came down from uh, the top last week. WWE is going to be getting more involved in Twitter, which I told you about. The plan is to have the talent use it more and push it more on TV. I would suspect there's a dollar sign somewhere involved in that. The idea is the talent are supposed to tweet stuff to promote their storylines. Officials don't want much uh, personal stuff about WWE talent being posted on social networks, which about all that uh, Chris Jericho was doing. The current plan for uh, this year's SummerSlam pay-per-view is to have Jack Swagger defend the title, uh, world title against uh, The Undertaker. Uh, a Triple A versus Edge match is also being talked about for the uh, SummerSlam spectacular. WWE has an unofficial offer, uh, this was an unofficial offer, to Jeff Hardy before he went to DNA. $750,000 downside where he would uh, only have to work 65 dates a year and give him the biggest break on the schedule of any WWE star, including Shawn Michaels. Hang on. I'm black. I'm back. Uh, anyways, obviously uh, Hardy turned the, the deal down and was uh, upset that nobody backed him after his drug arrest and was... Uh, Upset over the promos that uh, CM Punk had did on him, I guess, uh, you know, after he left the company. Uh, the feeling is that Harley, what, Hardy wasn't with the company at the time the promos and from Punk were in the business, uh, were, that Punk was in the business, of course, uh, and they were just used to, uh, you know, build a match. And it's believed that uh, Hardy would have been a lock for a TNA world champion over Rob Van Dam if it wasn't for his court case that's still up in the air. And by the way, it's been put off another close to 30 days. Let you know if anything comes out of it. I'm sure something will, but one of these days. Like I say, I think they have three continuances on the prosecution side and his side, so I don't know how many times it's been continued a bunch. Homicide was uh, confronted by TNA management about his recent comments about the company on a radio show. Homicide said uh, he was misquoted and uh, was asked by uh, Terry Taylor, uh, to get a tape of the interview for proof. Mr. Anderson, by the way, is uh, believed to be making $2,500 per appearance. Hey, I'll show up there for half that price. Every week. Even when the place is closed. Uh, I've already been getting off here. I'm about ready to run out of time. So, uh, hey, thanks for clicking. See if you can get another person to subscribe. Of all you subscribers, get one more person to subscribe. Uh, subscribe and we'll check this thing up. So. Thanks. I gotta go.